If you've been following me for a while, you'll have noticed some changes. Uh, some of the comments have even been saying, are you even a photographer anymore? Have you just become a full-time YouTuber? And we're gonna to get to that, but there's something I need you all to do, and it's very important. If you want to be a photographer, I think you need to do what I've just done, because it has been, I don't think life-changing is the right word, but probably life-affirming, perhaps? And, and I want you to do that, but let, let's go through the whole ordeal first of all. So. Am I a full-time YouTuber? You can see my YouTube rig here. This is my YouTube rig, fully set up all the time in my studio, good to go. And yes, I've been a full-time YouTuber for 30 days. Um, I handed my notice in to my agent. I am, or I was, I was agentless. Um, I handed it in, no plan, I was fed up, I was disenfranchised with life, and I handed my notice in with no plan whatsoever. Really bad advice, don't do that. But in doing so, it offered me some great insight. Now, I, I became the YouTuber for the month. I was like, not because it was the plan, it's because I was like, I've got to make bank, I've got to make some money, better do something. I made daily YouTube videos. It's a much easier job. It doesn't make as much money, for sure, but it's a much easier job than being a professional photographer. And of course, I don't YouTube at the same level that I photographer at, which is not a word, but it's a very different level of work I do. It's a very different production value. But, and here's, here's the big but, I can make a living off it. I can do this. I make enough money. It's fine. I wasn't happy. I wasn't content. And it's not that I don't like doing this. I love making YouTube videos. Um, I love watching YouTube. I have the premium version of YouTube, so I don't have to sit through the adverts, but it's, I, I watch YouTube like normal people watch TV. I find it more interesting. I have niche interests. TV programs don't cover them. YouTube does. The problem with being a full-time YouTuber in what I do in time to help you become a commercial photographer is that if I'm not a commercial photographer, do the words I say mean anything? And let me know in the comments below what you think about that. Um, because obviously I will have been a professional photographer, but, but I wouldn't be any more. Does this still have merit? Does it matter? And because the industry's changed so much in the last five years, in five years time, am I just obsolete? Would that be the case? Now making the YouTube videos was fine, but I realized a few things, and this is very important. And this is why I think it's worth, if you're a photographer and you can afford it, and you, or maybe you're not at the point where you need to worry about affording it, and you can take time off and stop calling yourself a photographer, do so. Because I learned some very important things in doing this. Firstly, I don't do photography for money. That is not what it's about. I don't do it for the money. Of course, it's nice that I get paid well, and, and I'm not gonna start reducing my rates, but the important thing for me is the creation, is the purpose is the mission. And the whole process for me is really important. I don't feel the same about YouTube. I don't get the same excitement about trying to be a better YouTuber. I enjoy making YouTube videos. It's a hobby, it's a pastime, it's a side income. It's, it's something I like to do, but it's not photography. And I didn't realize how much photography defines me as a person. It is who I am, it is what I am. I, I am a photographer. And I perhaps lost track of that in the deep hustle mentality, the, the working, the working, it was briefs, treatments, test shoots, nonstop, constantly getting ill. I don't know if you can hear my voice sounds a bit weird. I've currently got bronchitis, I've got a stomach upset. It's like, I am so unwell from the stress of all of it, you know, it really knocked me for six. So I became the YouTuber and it's a much less stressful type of life. There's far less to worry about. It feels nice. And maybe in the future it's something I look back on and I do again, but I've stopped. I'm no longer a full-time YouTuber. You won't be getting the daily uploads anymore. I can't continue this path. This has been a great experiment, but an experiment is all it has been. I've got new plans, I've got a new career path, and everything is changing. Um, even the studio, the studio is changing. We'll get that in another video, but it's all changing. You'll notice my photography website, so those who don't know, we've got Tin House Studios and scottchassino.com. Uh, it's actually pronounced Chassino, but I say Chassino because I anglicize it for people, but you know, by the by. My actual commercial website, you'll notice my drinks portfolio heavily updated. I've been working really hard on that for the last three weeks. Um, you'll also notice my contact page. There's a new person to contact, and that is Peter Gearing, my new agent. Um, so I've signed up with Agent at Large. They've got a great roster, not just of food and drink photographers and videographers and directors, but also portrait photographers and directors and like the top names in the industry. It's a real good roster. 
Um, I feel a little bit intimidated by it, but that's good. It's good to feel out of your depth. Um, I've been meeting with Peter, we've gone really well. They've got an art buyer there, they've got a producer there. It's a real good, good team. Um, it's a very different pace of work as well, which I'm really excited to be getting into. It's, it's great to be doing something new. And I think for me, having discovered that I am a photographer, I've got to chase that and I've got to keep being that. Yes, it's less stress and yes, I don't get ill as much being a YouTuber and I can do it on my own time frame, on my own terms. And it, it really is, and I know I talk about like, being a photographer is not being your own boss. Being a YouTuber is being your own boss. It really is. It is a very different thing, um, you know, and it's, but it comes with its own problems and drawbacks as well, you know, but nothing's perfect, but it is much easier, but it just doesn't give me the fulfillment. And taking this gap, taking this month to be a YouTuber instead of a photographer has just cemented what it is I'm supposed to be doing with my career. I can't imagine standing in the school playground with the parents and someone going, what do you do for a job? <laughs> I'm a YouTuber. I would feel like such a, you know, and, and you know, that says more about me than anything else, but being able to say, oh, I'm a commercial photographer, that, that makes me feel proud of what I've achieved. It makes me feel like I have done what I set out to do more than anything. I mean, if I'd set out to be a YouTuber, that'd be different. I think for me, it's, I wanted to be a photographer, I became a photographer, I became disenfranchised, and it wasn't until I stopped that I realized that actually, being a photographer is what I am, it's who I am, and it's not just for work. Like, let me show you something, wait there. Down here, zoop. I am so into photography, excuse the bin, I've got like all my special, look at these, all my special little cameras, like my Canon F1. This is like my brass mechanical clockwork, beautiful example of it. I have all this stuff. I love photography. I love everything about it. It's the cameras, it's the tech, it's the creativity, and it's the people as well, the photographers I meet, the people I work with, the assistants, the digis, the retouchers. They're just my tribe. They really are. Um, but what does it mean for the YouTube channel? You know, if you're watching this, you're probably like, yeah, that's great, Scott. What, what about us? What about YouTube? Well, I'm going to continue doing this. There's going to be two uploads a week, maybe three when I have time. I have expanded. We have a team now. Um, there's more people involved in the YouTube channel than there was before. It was just me. Um, so that's great. That means we can actually produce more content with me actually doing less time, um, which is also great. I mean, the downside is I can't film YouTube videos when anyone else is in the building because I get embarrassed about talking to a camera, which seems ridiculous. If you're watching this, you're probably like, yeah, you seem really at ease with it. Only works if no one's in the building. So that, that's a bit of an issue I've got to get around, but we're aiming for two videos a week minimum, three when I have a chance to, or if we get a bit more of a catalog of stuff to go. Um, but that's where we are, that's what's going on. I just wanted to update you all and just, you know, say, so give it a go, try something different and see if photography is really for you, because maybe it's not. Maybe you try this, YouTube. I mean, if I'd have done the YouTube thing and it had been just perfect for me, I'd have changed, absolutely. But it's not, it's not for me. But maybe it is for you, maybe you try something else and you go, oh my word, I was pursuing this career, it was making me unhappy. But this is the answer. This is what I should be doing. And I think it's good every now and again to question it and to try something new. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.